so in this uh, um this session we're going to best just be showing or like trying to go through um not all of task one but part of task one the ada part in particular and um just like uh, if you have any questions um just ask so this is where like you have to ask uh, these questions and uh, what else i want to say is um Really. Um, okay, so uh, first let me share my screen. Uh, okay, so All right, so it's, it's, this session is not really organized. I'm just going to be going through um, according to what you ask, basically. So the first tasks about uh, the GitHub, uh, setting up the Python environment and, uh, and GitHub, these are not going to, uh, it's, you already had a session about that. So what we, are, um, we care about is the ADA part, so this, basically this here set so mainly what you need for that is like once you are right uh, we're being going to be using Jupyter notebook and pandas um, and because you're here so this is like uh, give me a couple of links so there is uh, like um, the documentation of pandas itself which like give you a good introduction like always always look at the um official documentations there are this uh, that the camp one is also like uh it's long but explains everything so go through this uh if you, you are new to pandas so uh, let me just like uh, start over. This is what we did in the morning. Uh, okay. So yeah, here in this this uh, this is my notebook. Ah, uh, sorry, this is my like repo locally, and I'm using Visual Studio for this. I created a Python environment here. I already installed, I did pip install pandas. Um, okay, so I already installed it earlier. So what I am doing is like in my notebook, um, notebook directory, I create a new file, I call it uh, ADA, IPY and V, which is like a Jupyter notebook. And uh, it's already like I'm choosing the kernel to be this local environment here. Uh, so yeah, I went through this area. So here, when you have you don't have a kernel, you can choose a kernel. Can be a Python environment, and you just pass the pass to the Python in this local direct um, environment here, which is uh, when I created the clip that in so. Can be and uh, in Python. So yeah, so here because I installed Python uh, pandas in this local environment. That's why I'm using it, right? Because if anything doesn't make sense to you or you have a question, just ask me. So I'm I'm importing pandas in this Jupyter notebook. And I will start by reading my data as data a data frame. So we have a rating CSV uh, file. We have a row data, so I will ignore this one. We have the traffic CSV file and domain location, so I can read all of those. So you have rating is the pandas three CSV. And just the past two data 
rating CSV. And basically, I will also have um, graphic. So the the ones the graphic data and the domain location, which is um, domain location. It, okay, so. Here, like I have a data frame is a data type in pandas, which can be like you can use it to like, domains location. Okay, so a data frame, I said, like it's very uh, a Python data type um, in pandas that are like uh, very suitable to handling tabular data. So because I have tables and I can start looking at these tables. Um, so in the ADA is exploration. So we can say like, um, um, I'm using markdown to like say, I'm going to draw like, um, let's first look at data, right? And um, so here I can see like, for example, my rating data, I can look at um, the first few lines using the head. Uh, so, so this is my table. This is the columns I have, article ID, source ID, okay. Title, URL, art, the article itself, title sentiment. And I can do the that for all traffic head. I will also look at the C3. So here, this is the data about like the traffic for each domain, right? And um, domain locations has information about the country for which for each domain. Okay. So this is like, uh, there are other, like they're very, very useful functions and you can look us through them. The, like the sources I, I showed you, you can see like there are very good, um, very convenient functions that can use. For example, there is the info function you can use to look at like uh, what is, um, for rating, it will show me like uh, how many, like, the shape of the data, the columns I have in my data, and how many of the values are not null. So we can see, for example, the source ID column has a lot of uh, missing values because it has only 17,000 out of 58,000 entries. It has only 17,000 that are not null, so they are not missing. While the others are mostly um, um, all uh, uh, another thing that I can see used to look at the missing data is uh, is now right which okay um, and we can basically count so that we get the count for each okay, it is fake. Um, Say, let's use look at a particular source ID. Oh, uh, just some, not count, sorry. Um, so you can see this is the, the missing values if I don't specify. So it can it will show me for each column how many are missing, how many are uh, not or not um, null. Okay, so you can see like here is defined. Will give you this function. Will give you true if uh, the value is in a value or none or no, uh, or numpy none uh, or missing. Okay. 
uh, empty strings uh, are not considered like a uh, missing value. So it's not necessarily counting all the missing values. Some missing value may be um, assigned in a different way. This only the ones count only the ones that are assigned correctly as none or um, NA. Okay, but I mean, this is some functionality you can use. Another thing that you can use is um, if you have numerical values in your data, for example, okay, I only have the source ID here. They don't have numerical values as much. So in the traffic data, I have numerical run traffic info. So a lot of the values are um, global rank. Um, let's say referencing I, uh, IPs, which are the IPs that uh, reference this particular domain, which can count as uh, basically the traffic. Let me just choose that one traffic and I use this. So here, when I'm using the square brackets, I'm getting a particular. I can get a particular column or a, uh, a list of columns or um, also rows if I uh, actually can use like a location and then pass here. The first one, the first is uh, like the rows. So I'm slicing. So using a column, I'm just getting everything, right? And, uh, but I can get like a, uh, up to a particular number and then i can get a list of columns let's say um global rank rank and uh, so referencing ips right see like i'm slicing i'm getting only the first 10 rows and uh, only these two columns, right? So, uh, yeah, so awesome, something useful. So I wanted to show you like this. I can get only the reference IPs, right? This is this column. And I can use a function describe, which will give me the um, summary statistic for this column. So it will give me the count, the mean value, the standard deviation, the minimal, the maximum, and the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentile. So you can easily, like, uh, you can even run it for the whole data, but it will just, like, run it for the numerical uh, columns. You can see, like, this is my numerical columns, global rank, uh, ref subnet, reference IP, everything, and I'm getting all of these summary statistics for all of them. So can just easily look at that, of course. So, okay. So this is something in general, very basic stuff in Pandas. Um, let's look at the actual questions. So one question, like, um, what is like, uh, let's see. Who are the top? Let me get this. Two questions here in a markdown. So, um, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm just organizing my own notebook. Right. Very like, uh, convenient here in on Visual Code Studio. But also, yeah, like, there's something you have to uh, like um, advise something to do is that you use a markdown cells to to add. Uh, explanations and organizing your own um, notebook just to make it like more readable to understand those. So I want to answer these questions. One, what is the top and bottom 10 websites that have the largest count of news articles and um, the websites that have the highest number of visitors traffic, okay? This is a two questions I'm trying to answer. Um, Okay, for the first question, looking at the rating data, if you take a, let's look at it again as a head. So in the rating data, I'm, I have each each row is one article, right? Uh, and each article is coming from a particular source. Um, 
like uh, and um, also particular URL. Uh, okay, so um, basically, what I want to do, I want to get like uh, how many uh, news articles for um, for each source. So I can do this in multiple ways. Uh, so one of them is I can use, for example, group by. So like rating, and use group by which like i'm going to pass it like on like um um i can group by the values in one column or multiple columns <laughs> even if you don't have knowledge of pandas if you know uh, have a uh, knowledge of sql um you know this like a uh, group by is a, another just functionality or like what it does in sql as well so um so if I pass it, uh, what is the name of the source name? Okay, and then what I want is um, uh, okay, group by, and then uh, what I want to get is the article article ID, and what I want to is counting. Right, I'm like doing this wrong. Okay, so uh, what I did here is I group by the source name and then I applied count on the article ID. So for each source name, I counted the number, the different values in article ID, which for, because article ID is different for each article, that means I'm counting the number of articles for each source name. Okay, so um, this is what I'm getting. Is not, uh, of course, this uh, what I'm getting here is not uh, sorted. Um, so basically, I can like uh, let me call this X and then um, can apply. Uh, is it sort by? Mm. Um, uh, sort sort values uh, and um, so it will be uh, I only have one um one column basically so i don't need to specify the access right and what i will need to uh, to decide is i want it to be um descending not con uh, uh, sorry it has to be sorry to specify that it has to be false they want it to be uh descending so i got um sort of the values from descending and uh, if I want only the top values, I can just slice this to the top 10. And that's what I get. So like uh, in this way, I answered the first, uh, the first question I can get. Um, if I put it through, I will get the bottom. So here, in this way, I answer the first question website that have the largest count of news article. I want the top and bottom. So bottom, the top 10 are these. So uh, ETF Daily News has 16,000 articles in my data set. And uh, all of this, like this number. Uh, on the bottom, I have All Africa has 20 articles. And then like, uh, yeah, so others as well. So. Does this make sense? Any questions so far? Is this useful? Can I get a reaction if everything is okay? You can give me a thumbs up. Right. Uh, let's move to the other question because, because it's a little bit more complicated. I need to merge two, two data sets together. And um, okay. We did this earlier. So let me just copy 
um, a function from the an earlier code. Um, So we copy this. Okay. Uh, what I want so to answer the second question. So like uh, this one, websites with the highest number of visitor traffic. I need to merge two data sets: the rating one, the one that has articles, and uh, actually. Um, all the news articles and then the ones the traffic that is set. I need to merge these two together. So, uh, yes, let me check. Maybe it's not the best question to. Mm. So the question doesn't ask news websites. So basically, I can just get it from the the, the traffic data set directly, right? Uh, but let me just say I'm, I'm going to assume that is the question is news art news website. So I'm just going to change the question to make it complicated. So so I want to see like news website that have the highest number of visitor traffic. So, um, so in my traffic data set, right, um, I have this referencing IBs, which I can consider as like the number of uh, like basically the traffic that is getting to the to the website. Okay. So uh, basically what I can do, like if I just want to look at the domains that get the most traffic, I can do what I did earlier. So I will group by uh, the, the domain, right? Then, um, sorry, so I will get the reference IPs. And um, I don't need actually to do this because they are I, like I don't need to group by because uh, any domain is mentioned only once. So what I need to look at is just like sort basically the sort my data by um, see. So uh, so let me just get the domain. And uh, reference IPs, and then sort values um, by by reference ID for values, and I have to uh, define that uh, ascending is false. So, and we can just slice to get the first 10. So, you can see what I'm doing here. So, basically, um, so this first part, I'm just like to choose the first, these two columns to show. And then I sort it by this column and just in descending order and get, I got the first 10 values. So, these are the uh, domains that get the most traffic, which includes Facebook, Google, YouTube, and Wikipedia and stuff. So these are not news articles, the news website. These are just all domains uh, in general on the internet. So uh, to answer actually the question of like news news websites alone, we need to merge this traffic data with the rating data, which has the news articles, right? But the rating data so to merge two data sets we have to have a shared like you know from sql or uh, using sql to merge two tables you need to have a shared uh, column between the two and uh, actually the traffic data set and the, the domain location one has a shared column which is a domain and in the 
domain location i think it's called it's called different is it called a different name but it's still it's a domain at the head so it had a source common name which is a domain as well, again and um so just different names but the same the same column basically you can merge these two on this column but what have with, with the rating you don't have a domain uh you have a source name which is not a domain you have only forbes while the website the domain is forbes.com but you have the url the for url not not just the domain which is, should be forbes.com okay so for that what i need to do is a function i define here which is let me call it get domain and what you do, it will take a URL and slice it because it's a string, it slices it up such that we get only the domain part from it. Okay, define this function. And basically, you can see it working if I pass it like, uh, say, I cannot get like at any, uh, say, this one. I'm just giving it up, uh, this goes right, get domain. And I pass this URL to it. Let's see. Um, so I should return. Should return I think. Domain name. All right. And it returned to me the domain, which is pandaspydata.org. Okay. Um, so this is a function. I'm going to get the domain name from the URL. And what I will do is I will add a new column to my rating data set, which I will call it domain name. Okay. And I will apply basically, I want to apply this function to this URL column. And I can do that easily using what the apply. So I use, I choose the URL column and apply here and I pass the function I want to apply for each cell in the column, which is the get domain, right? Basically that's it. So once I do that, if I look my rating, add, see that I, in my rating data set, I got a new uh, column called the domain name and it has this domain name size we want. And next uh, to merge the data, let me call it merge data. Name. What I will do is I will have my rating and then use merge. Suggestions so are annoying, but okay. Here I have to include the traffic uh, data frame and then uh, <clears throat> how is like a is it inner merge left merge or uh, right merge so but by default is inner so i'm not going to specify how i will specify left on because the names of the columns are not the same so here it's domain name it's called right on uh, domain right uh anything else i need to specify okay let's just merge the data and see so the merge data will be like a, going to be have a lot of columns basically and uh, you can see i have the rating which article id up to um uh so I, I cannot even see all the columns because there are so many but then i will have the traffic data as well here so what I will I want is I want to apply the same thing I did before here to get the this one right in this case I just want to apply it to the merge data so I will pass this the merge data and choosing the same stuff as before but now oops uh okay yes sorry so there's a mistake i first need to uh because like this is like the data is for each column 
for each sorry for each article i need to group by the domain first and then apply this so instead of doing this right away so it's what i did the more data here what i need to do i need to merge data and then group by the domain right and then uh, i want to get the ref ips and um first i need to sum not sum um am i doing this so this is uh I need just one mention because it's, it doesn't work for uh, every article. So I don't need the group by, actually. Uh, okay, let's make actually call change the house. I think it's by default, it's, um, by default is inner, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Let me choose right instead. So what I'm doing here is that I'm just like, I don't want to get repeated articles. Doesn't matter. Still get that. Oh, that will not change this. Um, so we are thinking how to do this, actually. Um, these articles it has the most one so, give me a moment you see how um i did this earlier because like i just cannot think Um, uh, yeah, so, um, can group by, but I only want to get this one, uh, okay, can actually do this with group by, but it's not that much, so I was trying to think about the best way to do this, but like, I cannot think uh, of a better way basically So let's say I'm going to um, Right. So, so I forget. Um, okay, so let's uh, then I can apply sub index. Um, have all Uh, 
el externo. Um, Not even sure that I'm doing this correctly, but okay. I hope that I'm not doing something very wrong. But um, let's see. Okay. Um, yeah. Again, I can get first then. So somehow this is not the optimal way, but again, so what I did is I just um, put it to domain. I am collecting the the like um, also the number of uh, from this is the one I got from the traffic data, and I'm counting the number of articles as well here, and I'm, I ordered them by these values. So in ascending, of course, I can do it also in descending to see like. Uh, Through and I get uh, the last 10. Uh, sorry, should I lose it with the first 10 as well? That is wrong. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm ordering by this number here, just to see like the most traffic, the one that gets the most traffic and the one that gets the least traffic. Okay, um, that's it. So um, I don't know, I hope this was clear. Any questions? Yes, you what? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So uh, this was very uh, helpful. Thank you. Um, so my question is, um, I was uh, using my Chromebook because my PC is uh, currently getting fixed and uh, I wanted to use a uh, Google Colab, the okay. online ID. Yes, yes, you can use that uh, as well. But uh, I have a problem with, uh, I don't know, navigating the interface, I, I think. Um, and so, like, uh, in the visual, studio, um, uh, visual base code, you yeah. can see the folders, right? Right, yes. But I don't know how um, to import the files in uh, Google Colab. You can, uh, you have to mount your Google Drive and you can use files in your Google Drive for that. Okay. Let's see, uh, let me just open one here, maybe. Not here. So this is my own. And uh, so this is Collab Notebooks. See, I will have, let's say I put my files here. Let's say I put my data files. I can just do this right now. Um, let me upload one of the data. Uh, let me just use like uh, something random. So this is just some CSV file. I will put it here. And what I will do is, um, all right. Say I'm going to like, uh, and create a new one. Create a new one. Uh, okay. So let's see. This is my. Um, I was taking time, problem. All right. So this is the notebook I want to use. I would have to do is uh, I need to first like uh, have. Is here. Sorry. Files. Um, there's a way to do it from outside. Yes. Uh, yeah. You just have to mount it. So connect it to Google Drive. It will ask you to uh, authenticate, basically. 
uh, the first time it will ask you to authenticate and basically you'll be able to see your data here. So I put my data in the file. And this is my CSV file, the one that I wanted. So I copy the pass for that one. And then basically, yes, first you have to pip install think pandas right in your Google Club, and then you would be able to read uh let's say my data, I will read it into uh PD read C CSV, and then I will just post this pass that I got from here. And um sorry. I didn't import it. Oh, uh, one second. Because I have to import pandas at speed A first. And then I can run this. And uh, so this is just a random data I have. So it's not going to be the one, but like I can see like here. Yes, yes, you have to put your data in your Google Drive and you can basically use it. Um, yeah. You just like the difference, only difference is that you need to install everything in your um, on your uh, Google Cloud notebook. You cannot use uh, um, a local environment, that's all. Is this another other question? No, can we get uh, the recordings of this uh, meeting? Uh, yeah, I, I will see to that. I will see that you can get that. Okay, thank you very much. This was very helpful. Okay. Any other questions? I didn't go into visualization and stuff, but basically you can go through any tutorial on pandas and you can understand how to do the visualizations because there are questions about visualizing uh, everything. There are plotting. You can also use extra plotting libraries like matplotlib or um, Seaborn or like uh, any other letter you want to use, and you can plot the um, one variate distribution, you can see correlations and scattering plots, anything you want basically. Um, yeah, so and if you have any other questions, you can ask on Slack. Uh, what else? I don't think there are. Um, yeah, just to see if I have plotting here. So, that all is, uh, yeah. So here I'm using my plot lib to, to like uh, to plot. But pandas itself has also, like you can plot directly from, from pandas as well. Anyway, uh, if there are no more other questions, we can end this session here. Thank you everyone for being here. And um, again, I will see if the recording will be available. And um, yeah, we can can ask any questions on Slack. Please ask anything that is difficult. If you are facing any particular error, you can screenshot it and send it on Slack. Someone will help you, OK? All right. Uh, have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Yes, so the recording closed.